Hello everyone, myself Diksha Musal Gaukar from Department of Zoology. I am a third semester student and I am here to present my mid to assignment presentation. My topic is Neurons. So let's begin. Contents of this presentation are Neurons, Structure of Neurons, Classification of Neurons and Electrical Signals in Neurons. Neurons. The basic working unit of a central and peripheral nervous system is the nerve cell or neuron. Neurons are identified as excitable cells because they have the ability to be electrically excited resulting in the generation of action potential. Neuron is similar to any other cell in the body having nucleus and all other organelles in the cytoplasm. However, it is different from other cells in two ways. First, neuron has branches or processes called exon and dendrites. Second, neuron does not have centrosome so it cannot undergo division. Structure of Neuron Santiago Ramoni Cajal was a neuroscientist and Nobel laureate provided detailed description of cell types associated with neural structure and strongly advocated neuron theory. Neuron is made up of three parts, nerve cell body, dendrite, exon. Dendrite and exon form the processes of neuron. Dendrites are short processes and exons are long processes. Dendrites and exons are usually called nerve fibers. Nerve cell body. The cell body, also known as perikaryon or soma, contains nucleus surrounded by cytoplasm that includes typical cell organelles such as lysosome, mitochondria, and Golgi complex. Neuronal cell bodies also contain free ribosome and prominent clusters of rough endoplasmic reticulum, termed nasal bodies. The ribosomes are the sites of protein synthesis. Newly synthesized protein produced by nasal bodies are used to replace cellular components as material for growth of neurons and to regenerate damaged exons in the PNS. The cytoskeleton includes both neurofibrils composed of bundle of intermediate filaments that provide the cell shape and support and microtubules which assist in moving material between the cell body and exon. Dendrite Dendrite or dendron is a process that carries impulse towards the cell body. It collects impulse from other neurons and carries them towards the cell body. It is generally short with many branches and contain nasal granules. Number varies from nil to numerous. Dendrites are as a rule multiple relatively short and follow a specific branching pattern. It is pre-assumed that dendrites do not conduct impulse like exons in the central nervous system and instead they are part of the septal membrane of neuron. Exon The single exon of neuron propagates nerve impulse towards another neuron, a muscle fiber or a gland cell. An exon is a long thin cylindrical projection that often joins the cell body at a cone shift elevation known as exon hillock. The part of exon closest to the exon hillock is the initial segment. In most neurons, Nerve impulse arise at the junction of exon hillock and the initial segment, an area called trigger zone, from which they travel along the exon to their destination. An exon contains mitochondria, microtubules, and neurofibril. Because rough endoplasmic reticulum is not present, protein synthesis does not occur in the exon. The cytoplasm of the exon is called exoplasm and is surrounded by plasma membrane known as exolemma. Classification of neuron. Neuron can be classified in three ways on the basis of structure, on the basis of function, and on the basis of exon. On the basis of structure, of there are three types. Multipolar neuron. Multipolar neuron usually have several dendrites and one exon. Most neurons in the brain cell spinal cord are of this type. Bipolar neuron. Bipolar neuron have one main dendrite and one exon. They are found in retina of eye, in the inner ear, and in the olfactory area of brain. Unipolar neurons. Unipolar neurons have dendrites and one exon that are fused together to form continuous process that emerges from the cell body. These neurons are more appropriately called pseudo unipolar neurons because they begin in the embryo as bipolar neurons. During development, the dendrites and exon fuse together and become a single process. On the basis of function, there are three types. Sensory or afferent neuron. A sensory neuron detects and responds to external signal. Sensory neurons receive information via, via their receptors which are part of peripheral nervous system and convert this process into electrical impulses. Motor or efferent neuron. Motor neurons are responsible for, responsible for carrying signal away from the central nervous system towards the muscle to cause movement. They release neurotransmitters to trigger responses leading to muscle movement. Interneuron or association neuron are mainly located within the CNS between sensor and motor 
hinder neuron integrate incoming sensory information from sensory neuron and then elicit a motor response by activating the appropriate motor neurons. On the basis of length of exon, there are of two types, Golgi type 1 neuron. Golgi type 1 neurons have long exons. Cell body of these neurons is in different parts of central nervous system and their exons reach the remote peripheral organs. Golgi type 2 neurons. Neurons of this type have short exons. These neurons are present in cerebral cortex and spinal cord. Electrical signals in neuron. Like muscle fiber, neurons are uh, electrically excitable. They communicate with one another using two types of electrical signals. First, graded potential. These are used for short distance communication only. Action potential. These allow communication over long distances in the body. When an action potential occurs in a neuron, it is called as nerve action potential. The production of graded potential and action potential depends on the two basic features of plasma membrane of excitable cells. The existence of resting member potential and the presence of types of ion channels. Like most other cells in the body, the plasma membrane of excitable cell exhibit a membrane potential and electrical potential difference across the membrane. In excitable cells, this voltage is termed as resting membrane potential. Graded potential and action potential occur because the membrane of neuron contains many different kinds of ion channels that open or close in, resp in response to specific stimuli. Because of the lipid bilayer of the plasma membrane is a good insulator, the main path for current to flow across the membrane are through ion channels. Action potential An action potential or impulse is a sequence of rapidly occurring events that decrease and reverse the membrane potential and then eventually restore it to the resting state. An action potential has two main phases, a depolarizing phase and a repolarizing phase. During the de depolarizing phase, the negative membrane potential becomes less negative, reaches zero and then becomes positive. During the depolarizing phase, the membrane potential is restored to resting state of 70 mg. Following the repolarizing phase, there may be an after hyperpolarizing phase during which the membrane potential temporarily becomes more negative than the resting level. The generation of an action potential depends on whether a particular stimulus is able to bring the membrane potential to threshold. An action potential will not occur in response to sub-threshold stimulus, a stimulus that is weak, de weak depolarization that cannot bring the membrane potential to threshold. Graded potential. A graded potential is a small deviation from the membrane potential that makes the membrane either more polarized or less polarized. When the response makes membrane more polarized, it is termed as hyperpolarizing gradient. Potential. When the response makes the membrane less polarized, it is termed as depolarizing graded potential. A graded potential occurs when a stimulus causes mechanically gated or ligand gated channels to open or close in an excitable cell's plasma membrane. Typically, mechanically gated cell channels and ligand gated channels can be present in the dendrites of sensor neurons and ligand gated channels are numerous in the dendrites and cell bodies of interneurons and motor neurons. Hence, graded potential occur mainly in the dendrites and the cell body of a neuron.